taking you to see something really special. It is one of the most beautiful birds on earth and it is the national bird of India and it loves to dance in the rain. Can you guess which bird this is? Why? Of course! It is the splendid, the gorgeous, the magnificent peacock. Isn't he beautiful? I thought it would be a fun idea if we drew a peacock today to capture this beauty. What do you say? Yes! Then let's go to the drawing board. Let's begin by drawing a small circle at the center of your board. This will be the head of the peacock. Now to make the neck of the peacock, we draw two curved lines like the letter S. We draw them close to each other as the peacock has a slender and long neck. Next, we make three curved lines on top of the peacock's head. This will be its little crown. Next, we will draw two curved lines next to the neck of the peacock and join them together almost like an almond shape. This will be the body of the peacock. Are you with me so far artists? For the legs of the peacock, we will draw four small parallel lines under the body of the peacock. Then we make the feet of the peacock by drawing two almond shapes under the parallel lines. Now, we draw a tiny beak for the peacock. From the head of the peacock, draw an outward curved line like this. And then make an inward curved line. Don't forget to join them together. Then of course, make the eye of the peacock in the center of its head. Finally, let's make the beautiful feather train of the peacock. To do this, we must draw a big cloud shape behind the body of the peacock. Then we draw small almond shapes inside it using curved lines. Draw a lot of these shapes. Then inside each almond shape, we draw a small circle. These are the peacock's feathers. Phew! We are done with the drawing part. It was surely a challenge. Now let's get to the fun part. Coloring. Peacocks are famously known for their blue color. So let's color the head, neck and body of the peacock in dark navy blue. Next, we color the beak, legs and crown of the peacock in a bright yellow. Then, take your black crayon and fill in the eye of the peacock. Finally, fill in the big cloud shape of the peacock train with a dark green crayon. Now, for the almond shapes, fill them in with a bright blue color. Then use a purple crayon to fill in the circles within the almond shapes. Great! Now the peacock's feathers are done. Great job, artist, for drawing the most beautiful peacock. I will see you again soon in another Pundin classroom. Bye-bye.